Hi, it's me, Hoizhen here. Today, I will conduct my practical test tool, which is thin layer chromatography DLC experiment. In this experiment, all the apparatus and material that I use is very simple and easy to handle. So, let me show you. For solute or pigment, I choose two types of food coloring. This is the orange color and this is green color. I choose cooking vinegar for my mobile face. For stationary face, I choose a drawing paper. Later, I will cut it to 13 cm by 4 cm. Next, measuring spoon. Later, I will use the measuring spoon to measure the vinegar. A sharp knife. A toothpick to transfer the food coloring to the TLC plate, which is the drawing paper. A mechanical pencil as a marker. A very accurate scientific calculator. Later, we will use it to calculate the RF value and of course a glass jar as my TLC tank as you notice this glass jar don't have the lid this is because I use the cooking vinegar as my mobile face since the cooking vinegar does not vaporize easy so we don't need the lid so that's all for the apparatus and material so let's start our experiment now I'm going to draw and cut out my TLC plate so let's do it Remember, be very careful when you handle with a sharp knife. So this is going to be my TLC plate. Now, draw a 1cm high line from the bottom of the TLC plate as our origin. Since I have two types of food coloring as my pigment and I will put two cross on the origin line for them. Now I make my toothpick into half, once for green color, once for orange color. So that's it. Now let it dry for a couple minutes. So we put it aside and take the glass jar and we transfer half tablespoon of the cooking vinegar into the glass jar. Now we wait the color on the TLC plate fully dry up. I forgot to mention the reason why I use half tablespoon of the cooking vinegar is because this volume it, when I put the TLC plate inside the glass jar, it will not exceed the origin line. That's the reason why. After 3 minutes, we can see the color on the TLC plate is completely dry up. And remember, we don't want the mobile face to more than 1cm from the above of the TLC plate. So now we can run the TLC experiment. I put a blue color box behind the glass jar so you can see the movement of the pigment and the mobile face easily. After almost 8 minutes, I take out the TLC plate from the jar and immediately use the ruler and the mechanical pencil. Draw a line to the mobile face so we can observe it when it dry. And mark the color for the distant travel. Then we let the TLC plate completely dry and then we can measure the range of the color observed 
and the distance travel from the origin then we continue by calculate the RF value so now we wait the TLC plate to dry up after the TLC plate is completely dry up and you can see more clearly all the spot so here you got one another one at here and here here so now take the ruler and measure the distance travel from origin so the distance travel from the origin is 6.3 cm and the first spot here is 0 0.5 and the second is 1.2 cm and this is 3.9 cm and now is the wind color Zero point seven. And now with all the reading we can more easy to calculate the RF value so let me show you the RF value calculation this is the calculation for the RF value so this upper part is the green color and the bottom part is the orange color so RF value I don't put the unit since the RF value is the calculation for ratio of the distance so the distance travel from origin is the same 6.3 cm and for the first range uh, which is from here the green color 0 0.7 the RF value is 0 0.111 and the range for the green color 1.7 is the range the RF value is 0 0.27 and the third distance for the green color is 5 cm 5 cm and the RF value is 0 0.794 so for green color the first reading is first spot is 0 0.5 and the RF value is 0 0.079 the second spot 1.2 and the RF value is 0 0.190 so for the third spot is 0 0.9 cm and the RF value is 0 0.619 so this a wrap up for my thin layer chromatography experiment and if you like this video please give me a like and that's all thank you bye bye